In 2022, renewables provided around 23% of energy on the United States electrical grid, but that is actually about to change drastically. There's one very, very big reason why in 2023 that number will increase markedly as a result not of necessarily commercial businesses, but simply of local homeowners. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel on the Electric Viking. Great to see you. Welcome to the channel. If you're new, great to have you. If you're not, welcome back and thank you for your support. Your subscribing to the channel really helps the algorithms, helps more people to learn about the benefits of renewable energy and the benefits, in fact, of solar. Why do I say of solar? Why? Well, because, you know, wind is, it's great. It's great in Texas. Wind is going crazy. The government there is actually doing an amazing job. Everyone mocks Texans, but the truth is that they're actually far ahead of everyone else when it comes to renewables. But something is going to change, which no one I believe is expecting in 2023. Renewable energy provided 23% of US electrical generation in the first 10 months of the year. The final issue of the 2022 EIA Electric Power Monthly Report series was released in December and contains data through the 31st of October. It says that wind, utility and rooftop solar, geothermal, hydropower, and biomass increased electrical output by 14.3% compared to the same 10-month period in 2021. By comparison, electrical generation by all energy sources grew a combined 3%. As you can see, renewables far outpaced growth in any other area. Year to date, renewables provided 23% of total generation compared to 20% in 2021. They're on track now to exceed the EIA's forecast of renewables providing 22% of US electricity for the year. Solar output alone, though, increased the most, 26.3%, and its share of total US electrical generation year-to-date surpassed 5%, providing 5.05% through the end of October. For perspective, Electric says that solar's year-to-date share first reached 1% in March 2016. What does that mean? It means in six years, solar has increased by a factor of five. 500% increase in six years. But that actually is going to speed up for one key reason. You're probably thinking, oh, it's not going to speed up. Why would it? That's a, that's a crazy increase, but it's going to. Since then, Solar's monthly generation has increased sixfold. The trend seems likely to continue. In October alone, US solar output was 31.7% greater than a year earlier, a rate of growth that far exceeded every other energy source. So we've hit 31.7% growth, right? That could be even higher now, I'm not sure. But it's gonna go a fair bit higher. When you consider the fact that the three biggest solar energy panel manufacturers in the world just decreased their prices by 30%. 30% reduction in panel prices. That's massive. When you consider the fact also that the prices of panels have come down by 90% over the past 15 years, well, yeah, you can see how in 2023, solar will explode all over the United States and, of course, Europe. Now, solar here in Australia has already exploded. It's already taken off. It's gone crazy. We probably don't need much more solar. But in Australia, we will have a lot more solar regardless. Why? Because we have a lot, more, a lot of sun and solar panels here have always already been cheap. Plus, incentives from the government make them even cheaper. Renewables in the United States outproduce both coal and nuclear by 16.6% and 27.4% respectively. However, natural gas continues to dominate with a 39% share of total generation in the United States. As we begin 2023, it's very likely renewables will provide nearly a quarter, if not more, of the nation's electricity during 2023 for the whole year. My prediction is that renewables will provide around 28 to 30% of US electrical grid generation. It is entirely possible that the combination of just wind and solar will outpace nuclear power and maybe even that of coal during the next 12 months, say experts. Another thing that is happening in the United States, which 
needs to be said. The US's largest solar panel manufacturer will make millions of panels for national grid renewables. First Solar, the largest solar panel manufacturer in the US, announced that it will supply clean energy company, National Grid Renewables, with 1.6 gigawatts of solar panels. That is massive. Minneapolis-based National Grid Renewables is part of the Ventures Division of National Grid, one of the world's largest publicly listed utilities with its headquarters in the UK. National Grid Renewables has a portfolio of solar, wind, and energy storage projects throughout the US in various stages of development, construction, and operation. First Solar is supplying National Grid Renewables with its Series 7 thin film solar modules. The up to 540 watt panels combine the company's thin film cadmium telluride technology with a larger form factor and have up to 19.3% efficiency, plus they have a 30 year warranty. And when you look at the price of solar panels 20 years ago, you've got to consider the current price in context of the massive increases in the efficiency of today's panels versus panels being manufactured 20 years ago. Also, you have to consider how much longer modern panels last compared to old panels. The Series 7 panels are designed and developed at First Solar's factories in California and Ohio. And First Solar says that the Series 7 panels frameless design improves soiling and snow shedding. And it also says that it offers the solar entries only solar cell cracking warranty. That's a lot of solar panels. Just one gigawatt of panels alone is equivalent to 3.125 million solar panels. And National Grid Renewables have ordered 1.6 gigawatts. That means they've essentially ordered around 5 million panels alone, just for the United States commercial panel rollout. Now you're probably thinking, yeah, solar panels in the US, well, we don't really get that many from China because there is a tax on those panels and there is a tax on those panels. But if you think about it, right, if they're 30% cheaper, does that tax really matter? I mean, the tax is only 15%. It's going to bring the prices down massively. And also, even if that doesn't make a huge dent, the Biden administration is going all in on sponsoring solar energy and its output in the year 2023. The IRA has provisions for solar, massive ones, also for battery storage, which will support solar and its rollout. I believe solar and wind will be the two largest sources of energy within two years in the United States. The grid there will go more than be more than 50% renewable within a very short period of time. When I say short, two, maybe three years at the maximum. Why will that happen? It's simply economics. Renewables are much cheaper. They simply cost less, they're easier to run, and they're actually pretty easy to roll out. There's a lot of reasons solar panels work really well too. A lot of farmers are using them simply as basically shade for their cattle, shade for their cattle on land that's doing nothing other than providing cattle with feed. The other thing is grass apparently grows better under the solar panels too. You're getting more grass, you're getting shade for your cattle, and you're basically making money. So farmers are rolling them out quickly as well. There are so many reasons why solar panels in 2023 are going to have their best year ever. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thank you for watching.